So my lab is studying this signaling pathway called the WINT pathway, and what we're interested in is both the basic biology of WINT signaling as well as some of its clinical aspects. So WINTs are really important in development, and we study how WINTs are made, how they're secreted from cells, how that process is regulated, and that's a very basic science part of my lab. And then we also study how you might interfere with this. So it turns out that WINTs are upregulated in a number of different diseases, and so we're interested in studying if we can block this process and therefore block the growth of cancers, block, the, block inflammation that WINTs are involved in. So we have a large drug development program looking at blocking WINTs as well, and that gives us a strong translational part of the lab where we want to see if we can cure human disease by interfering with WINT secretion. In the IBM program, I play several different roles. First, I'm involved somewhat in the admissions process. I lecture to the students in areas that I'm um, an expert in. And probably most importantly, I take students in my laboratory who are interested in cancer biology, and they get a, both a broad exposure to cancer biology as well as they become specialists in the area that they pick for their thesis research. The IBM program at Duke NUS is unique because it both covers a broad range of basic biology, so our students will, will learn the basics of molecular biology, genetics, cell biology, but then they also are exposed to the medical side of, of, of uh, molecular biology. So we have a lot of MD, PhDs, and MDs both in our program and in our university, and so the students will not just learn the basic science, but also how this applies to human disease, and this, our basic science findings will get translated into advances in medicine.